this video I will show you how you can complete all the clock and bell missions in just 5 steps so you can then complete the final heist in complete stealth mode. Starting with step 1. First you will receive a call from Vincent which will give you a new location marked with this yellow V. Over here you can start the first mission which is the slush fund. You will first get a short introduction scene with Vincent himself where he will explain the goal of the mission. After that you get a task to go to the money laundering businesses. These are marked on your map with the letters A and B. Simply drive towards one of the locations and be careful when you arrive there since there will be enemies waiting outside. You can easily take them down and enter the business. Inside here there will be a few enemies left. Take them down as well and now you can start taking the cash. These will be marked with a green dot on your map. Once you took all the cash, leave the building and head towards the second location. Same thing applies here do the exact same thing as you did at the first location but now when you exit the building you will have a new location marked on your map which is Vincent's lockup. This is the place where you need to deliver the cash to and that's it for the first step. You've completed this mission and can now start with the second one. You'll get a call again from Vincent and after that you will see the fee marked on your map. At this location you will be launching all the remaining missions as well. For the second step, you have to go towards two places, which are the terabyte and the laptop. First, head over to the terabyte, and once you arrive here, you need to search in the yellow area for the vehicle. If you don't know what the terabyte looks like, Vincent also sent you an image attachment on your phone of the vehicle. It can be at different places, just look around for a bit and you will quickly find it. You will also hear some drone noises around the terabyte to find it even faster. Now all you have to do is take down the drones that are flying around. They will keep spawning above the terabyte, but you can easily take them all down. After you've done that, you can now enter the terabyte where you can steal the hack device take it and head over to the second location which is at the laptop vincent will text you what the guy looks like that has the laptop it's pretty easy to spot him as he has a bright blue shirt on and once you found it take his laptop and a new location will be marked which is at the cartel's compound at this location there will be multiple enemies one of them will have the keys of the train. Simply kill the enemies and you will see the key marked on your map. It will always be one of the enemies in this area. Now drive towards the train and all you have to do is drive forwards. You can also shoot out of the train while you're driving in it. There will be some places where you will see this red area on your map. At these locations you will need to press the button shown in the top left corner to start the hacking. It might seem really complex but when you're doing it it's actually pretty easy. While you continue to drive the train to the destination, every car that comes in your way will immediately blow up so you won't be bothered by that too much. And that's it for the second mission. You can now start with the third step, but before you start with the third mission, you probably spawned around the other side of the map. If you have any businesses closer to the fee location on your map, set your spawn location over there and join a new session. This will save you a lot of time. Now starting with the third step, you will have to steal some weapons and armor. However, there are three locations on your map, but you don't want to go to all of them because it's a waste of time if you do that. If you check your phone, you will see that these three locations are completely different. You can kind of see this as three different levels. Option A is something you should always avoid. It is the easiest level, but you can only collect weapons here and not the gear. So if you choose A, you still have to go to B or C, which is just a waste of time. Option B, you should also never choose because you need to go all the way into the sea and fight on a yacht, which will take a lot of time as well. The best option which I highly recommend going for is option C as it is the easiest and gives you the best armor plus weapons and if you follow exactly what I show you in the gameplay right now, you can easily take them all down and make sure that you get the best possible loot. Now go back and deliver it to the lockup and what you want to do now is text Vincent on your phone, here choose military weapons, do the exact same for gear and choose confirm. And that's it for this mission. For the fourth step, we're going to get a getaway vehicle. Here you got three options again, A being the easiest to complete and C being the hardest. For this one, I honestly don't recommend going for C, especially if you're a beginner since it can be a difficult mission for just getting a vehicle. I would say either choose target A or B, 
both are a decent option. For car A, you barely have to fight anyone. You kill a few enemies, shoot this thing over here and bring the vehicle back to your garage. The one I like the most is option B, where there will be a bit more security around, including a helicopter, but you can easily take the helicopter down as it won't respawn. Then when you killed all the enemies surrounding the car, you do need to move this bigger car away so you can jump over the objects around since there's no way of directly driving out of here. Now drive back towards the garage and right before you bring it back, you have to go to Lasano's Customs, which is right across it, to repair the car. This will be completely free, and now you can store the vehicle inside the garage. And the last thing you have to do is text Vincent again to confirm the vehicle that you want as the getaway car. Now we can start the fifth and last step in order to start with the final heist. When you arrive at the location, you will see two cartel fans appear on your map. You need to hack these cars by driving close to them for a short period of time. To make it easier, just kill the enemies that are inside since they will shoot you anyways even if you didn't. Now hack both of the cars and you will get the location of the cartel's garage. Inside here, you have two options. You either do this in stealth mode where no one detects you or you just start killing everyone. You can try doing this in stealth mode but it's easier to just kill them all because when you alert everyone inside a bar in the bottom right corner will appear which says take out witnesses with a timer next to it so as long as you kill everyone before the bar is completely empty no one will be alerted outside and you can loot everything in peace this will still make the final mission entirely stealth I would recommend doing this as there aren't many enemies inside. Just make sure when you're killing the enemies inside that you don't blow up any vehicles and when you've taken them all down, make sure to directly go to this place so you wipe out the CCTV footage Therefore, there's no evidence left behind. Now you can sabotage each of the cartel delivery trucks and start to drill the lockers to search for the keycard. In order to start drilling the lockers, you do have to grab a drill that's around this place. This will also be marked with a green dot on your map when you're close enough to it. Once you've found the keycard, leave the place and enter this vehicle. All you need to do is deliver this back to the lockup and you've completed all the 5 steps in order to now start with the final heist. Now for the final heist, I will show you exactly how you can perform the final heist in complete stealth mode. All you need to do is follow what I do and you will not get detected. On your map you will see this icon, make sure to grab these keys since we're going to use them in a bit.
safe is the next target. You know what to do. Now with this hacking device, you have to check which computer you need to hack. And the way you check that is by going towards the highest signal. In total, you need to do this three times, which will eventually give you the code of the safe. Remember this and apply it to unlock the safe. Once it's caught the connection, find the next one. Remember there are multiple connections. You need to hack each one before you have the code. Okay, that should have done it. Have you received the safe code? Now at this point you need to wait for this guy to walk back and then afterwards kill the second person else you will alert everyone. Now I will speed this part up. You can't actually lose the cops. I've tried it many times, but at this point it doesn't really matter if you get detected or not since you'll be driving your way back to the lockup. When you've reached around this place and still got the cops behind you, go to the same location that I go in order to lose the cops. It's right near the casino and I will show you the exact location on the map as well. You can go inside this place and hide until the cops are gone. And that's it. You've completed the heist and earned yourself $500,000 and an extra $250,000 for completing it the first time. If you want to know what some of the other best money methods are in GTA Online, check out this video where I show you all of them. <laughs> 